If you're watching this, then you're hardcore StatQuest. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer and welcome to StatQuest. Today we're going to talk about the softmax derivative and we're going to go through it step by step. Note, this StatQuest assumes that you already understand the main ideas behind softmax. If not, check out the quest. The link is in the description below. In the stack quest on softmax, we had this fancy neural network that predicted if an iris was setosa, versicolor, or virginica. And since the output values were all over the place, we ran them through a softmax layer. And I was like, here's the derivative of the softmax for setosa with respect to the raw output value for setosa. Bam! Now let's solve for that derivative one step at a time. Well, first, remember that the softmax for setosa, and thus this fraction, is equal to the predicted probability for setosa. Now, the derivative of the predicted probability requires the, the quotient, quotient rule. rule. Don't worry, I don't expect you to remember the quotient rule. I had to Google it too. Since we are taking the derivative with respect to the raw output value for setosa, the quotient rule tells us to take the derivative of the numerator with respect to the raw output value for setosa, and the derivative of the numerator, e raised to the raw output value for setosa, with respect to the raw output value for setosa, is e raised to the raw output value for setosa. Then we just plug in the denominator. Then we subtract the derivative of the denominator with respect to the raw output value for setosa, which, again, is just e raised to the raw output value for setosa, so we plug that in. And then we plug in the numerator. Lastly, we square the original denominator and plug that in. Now let's move the equation up a little bit and shorten setosa, versicolor, and virginica so the equations don't run off the screen. And now just do some algebra. First, since e to the s multiplies the rest of the numerator, we can split it out. Likewise, we can split this numerator into two terms. Now we notice that the first term is equal to the predicted probability for setosa. So we can replace the first term with the predicted probability for setosa. And this term has the same thing in the numerator and the denominator, so it is equal to 1. And the last term is also equal to the predicted probability for setosa, so we plug that in. Bam! So we see that the derivative of the predicted probability for setosa with respect to the raw output value for setosa is the predicted probability for setosa times 1 minus the predicted probability for setosa. Where, in this case, the predicted probability for setosa equals 0.69. So, when we do the math, we get 0.21. Now, because the raw output values for versicolor and virginica play a role in the softmax output value for setosa, we also need the derivatives of the predicted probability for setosa with respect to versicolor and virginica. So let's quickly look at how to calculate the derivative with respect to versicolor, and we'll leave virginica for homework. Just like before, remember that the softmax value for setosa, and thus this fraction, is equal to the predicted probability for setosa. Likewise, the softmax value for versicolor, and thus this fraction, is equal to the predicted probability for versicolor. Now, just like before, the derivative of the predicted probability for setosa requires the, the quotient, quotient rule. rule. The big difference, this time, is that now we are taking the derivatives with respect to versicolor. This difference makes things easier because the derivative of the numerator, e raised to the raw value for setosa, with respect to versicolor is zero, since versicolor is not in the numerator. 
and that means this whole first term is zero. Then we subtract the derivative of the denominator with respect to versicolor times the numerator, and divide everything by the denominator squared. Now let's shorten setosa, versicolor, and virginica so the equations don't run off the screen. And now we just do some algebra. First, we split the numerator into two separate terms. And the first term is the same as the negative predicted probability for setosa, and the second term is the same as the predicted probability for versicolor. Double bam. So we see that the derivative of the predicted probability for setosa with respect to the raw output value for versicolor is the negative predicted probability for setosa times the predicted probability for versicolor, where the predicted probability for setosa equals 0.69 and the predicted probability for versicolor equals 0.1. And when we do the math, we get negative 0.07. Likewise, the derivative with respect to virginica is the negative predicted probability for setosa times the predicted probability for virginica. And that gives us negative 0 0.15. Triple, Triple bam. bam! Now it's time for some shameless self-promotion. If you want to review statistics and machine learning offline, check out the StatQuest study guides at statquest.org. There's something for everyone. Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting StatQuest. If you like this StatQuest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support StatQuest, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs or a t-shirt or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!